Praise the Lord. This is another new day that the Lord has given us. Welcome to Spiritual Transformational Menu for today. And I know I'm, I'm Bishop George Kamau and Bishop George, Dr. George Kamau. And I love the Lord and I pray that from today, going forward, you will continue uh, subscribing so that you can be able to hear the message that I have from the Lord. We are on the topic of patience. And I think unless we get to understand the ingredient of patience so that we can be able to walk and run with it, that is the only way we can be able, we are assured of the blessings of God because God has always had to test our faith. And therefore, today, I want to say that, we, I want to, I want, I want to talk, talk, talk about waiting on God increases your strength. If you wait on the Lord, He will definitely increase your strength so that you can continuously wait upon Him as He performs His miracles and as you wait for Him so that He can be able to fulfill the desires of your heart. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, it says, but those who trust in the Lord, can you imagine putting your trust in the Lord? We, he will renew their strength. So the renewal of the strength by the Lord is not just happening anyhow, it's happening to those people who are trusting or who put their trust in Him. They will soar on with wings like eagles, flying high. Patience brings about the fruit of making sure that the moment God comes in and adds, gives you the strength, you are able to fly high like an eagle. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Can you imagine? That's what the book of Isaiah the prophet is, is telling us this morning. And, and, and I know that there is no doubt that God, when you wait on Him, when you believe and you decide to wait patiently, He will definitely fulfill all that He had purposed right from the creation when it comes to your life. Uh, I want to talk about the three methods of flight. When you talk of flight, those people who deal with birds, who are, we normally refer to ornithologists, they say birds have three methods of flight. Flapping is keeping their wings in constant motion, like a hummingbird, or to, to counteract uh, activity, uh, gra gravity. Flapping keeps them in the air, but it is a lot of work, I am telling you. That is the, that's the first, that, that's one of the first methods, that is flapping. The second is gl gliding. Here the bird builds up enough speed, then coasts down what a while. It is much more graceful than flapping, but unfortunately it does not get the bird very far. Reality, in the form of gravity, sets in quickly. Gliding is nice, but it does not last. So therefore, that's the second uh, method of flight. The third method is what we call soaring. Only a few birds, such as eagles, are capable of soaring. No wonder that we are told that to those who wait on the Lord, waiting patiently, He will renew their strength. Then they will be able to fly. They will mount up with wings like eagles. The eagles' wings are so strong that they are capable of catching rising currents of warm air. Double winds that go straight up from the earth, and without moving, a feather can soar up to great heights. Eagles have been clocked up to 80 miles per hour without flapping at all. They just saw on invisible columns of air because their wings are so strong. Therefore, my brothers, my sisters, in times of waiting, we have to accept that our souls are revived. We, in times of waiting, we have to accept that our spirits are renewed. Therefore, we have no doubt that at any given time, we have to wait patiently. I can assure you only one thing, that if we wait patiently unto the Lord, your miracle is coming. It is not only that uh, it's going to happen tomorrow, but it's going to happen sooner. The moment God is done with the work or the process. That process, we have to wait for it. Because it is all about God and we have to believe in Him. You think about the egos. And when I think about the egos, it, makes, it always reminds me that uh, if we are going to sow up like egos, we have to learn that we have to have a double vision. Seeing things from a wider perspective, from a godly perspective, and waiting for Him. And number two, we have to agree that at any given time, ego does not, it does not worry in any way. Even if it sees the storms, it loves storms. So sometimes as you wait patiently, I know there are things that may push you uh, to, to, towards a, uh, to, to, to a corner and you find yourself between a rock 
and a hard place. But I can tell you, at the end of the day, when you wait for the Lord, God will come and see you through, and He will come carrying His goodies, and you will have a smile. You will not remember that you waited for too long. David, uh, if you think about uh, David writing down, waiting patiently, I am telling you, it was not easy. When you think about Zechariah, they waited patiently and it wasn't easy, but it came to be. If you, are, if, you, if, if you look at even the life of David, even waiting, uh, Joseph, I mean, Joseph even waiting for the dream that he has seen, it was all about waiting patiently. But I'm telling you, as you learn to wait patiently for the Lord, I cannot give you only one assurance, but those who trust in the Lord, He will renew their strength. Trusting means that at any given time, no matter what, stick unto your lane, do what you're supposed to do because you're not God, wait for Him to fulfill. For He is the author and the finisher of our faith. I wish today you can run with His word and get to understand He is the Lord and He remains as God, who is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Time will come when those who wait on the Lord will soar and you are run on them. You and I, we will see and experience the power of God. And I have no doubt when His Spirit comes in, it will come in like Elijah and it will accelerate your feet and from there you are now finding yourself having already reached ahead of your enemies. May the Lord bless you. Wish you the very best of the week. Have a blessed week. This week has been looking, we have been looking forward to the principle of patience. I believe next week on this platform, Spiritual Transformational Menu, we are coming back with new goodies. And I know the Lord will be to bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you and we love you. We cannot say more than what I have said, everlasting Father, because you have already spoken to our hearts. The waiting patiently is a mark that Lord of glory and new season is just about to be born. Let it be so to this woman, to this man, and to this young lady, and to this young, young man, everlasting father. And let them experience your power and your strength as you have promised us in the book of Isaiah. Father, I speak God of glory of thy blessings. Accelerate their lives, O God, and give them a heart that will wait for you patiently as you, will, as you Father, prepare to fulfill the desires of their heart. Thank you and I love you. And bless them, your master. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and we believe.